Hey, it's the Susanna May, and this is part three of Lou Book Tuesday, March 28th, time 11.43 p.m. Computer on 90%. No copyright intended, not trying to convince any religion, not offend anybody, and this is part, no, this is part four, not three. So please go back to part one to hear the whole beginning. You won't be able to hear cars and other dangers coming. You dance moves are just way too cool. B. If your ball rolls into the street, you should run out and grab it, climb a tree, and wait for it to roll back. Make sure the road is clear before you get it. C. Cross town challenge solution. Play safe. Solution. Always wear a seatbelt when in car. Never chase a ball into the street. It is very dangerous to come close to moving cars when you are a skateboard. Always keep your head on the handlebars unless you are signaling. Always cross at a crosswalk. Always wear your helmet. Never skateboard down the street or steep hills. The secret of transportation. Dear parents and caregivers, the U.S. Secretary of Transportation, I am committed to providing your families with the safest, most effective transportation system in the world. Whenever you and your loved ones travel from one place to another, you can be confident that my number one priority is to make sure you all get there safely. As the father of two young children, safety is personal for me. It is, sorry, my neck hurt. It is my responsibility to make sure that they are safe as they can be whenever they walk to playgrounds, ride bikes, or travel in a car, bus, train, or plane. Your commitment to doing the same will keep us Keep all of the children safe. Thank you. I'll give you 40 seconds to guess what I just read to you. Do 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 Did you guess road safety? Fun times. McDonald's. I'm loving it. Yep, it's a McDonald's pamphlet on how to be safe. I did not make this at all. It's all McDonald's. Um, they're, I think it came with one of Jade's Happy Meals or one of mine. I have some really old McDonald's toys in my house. So who's to say? But it's trying to teach kids to be safe when cars are around. And also kind of gives some safety tips to make sure that you're not doing anything dangerous. Okay, so. So far today, I have read you road safety. I'm loving it, McDonald's. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. C-A-R-L-E. It's a Scholastic Inc. And Jade likes it, and I like it. I also read Mini Surprise by Disney Mickey Mouse Club Disney Junior Story Reader Me Reader. It, uh, for kids, it has a Me Reader. Yeah, uh, look for these books and more.
and I wrote Franklin in the dark. I'm on TV, Scholastic Inc. 499 in the US. I read you four things. Um, to go along with this, here's a tip, wear a helmet. And before you go, oh, you're a mom, you have to say that. I'm gonna give you a story about when I was like, mm, still a teenager, like 16, 15, 17, I don't remember, or uh, younger. I was in high school, so it wasn't like too young, but I decided to ride my friend's bike. He was a guy. I was a girl. Unfortunately, by girls and guys bikes back then. I don't know if they changed because I haven't been on a bike since. But they're different levels. And we're different heights. He's actually a little bit taller than me, but not by much. And he didn't tell me his brakes, uh, part of his brakes didn't work. Little me thinking, ooh, I'll just hop on his bike, ride really fast, speed, didn't have a helmet. And I was trying to speed to get to a friend's house real quick. Really, really bad idea. I fell onto the road, the black part, the black part of the road, which this part, like that part. And then I fell onto the sidewalk part too, because I was on half and half. I saw stars all around my head, like you do in cartoons, like little stars going around and around. I was like, what's going on? And then I had scrapes up and down my arms and legs and I hurt my f finger right there. I think they called it the fibula or something. I don't know. Like he called it the thing that people used to sniff things. I don't know. I was like, the doctor makes no sense, but okay. But a few days I went home. My dad was like, are you okay? I was like, I, I don't think I'm too bad off. Grandma told me, no, that wasn't true. I probably had a concussion, didn't know it, because she was a nurse, but I don't really want to talk about it. I gave her a call letting her know that, like, um, I was like, hey, Grandma, I just wanted to let you know, because back then I was still seeing her every other weekend, and it was mandated. But I was like, hey, Grandma, I kind of got hurt. Um, it wasn't anyone's fault but my own, and... It was so bad that people at school thought someone literally beat me up or jumped me. And I had swollen lips like out to here. I hurt my thumb. I had like scratches all over me. And my teacher for four days was like, you shouldn't be here. You should be home sleeping or I don't even know. She was like, you don't look good. You should go home and rest and see a doctor. And she told me for like the last four days to go home. She's like, why are you here again? You need to go home. You look bad. Like it was so bad that like I had four, I was asked four times by the same teacher and a couple other teachers for four days to leave and go home because little old me thought, hey, I don't need to wear a helmet or get a safe bike. I can ride my friend's bike without a helmet. Not a good idea at all. Like, 0% of that is a good idea. Don't do it. Ever. Like, sorry, my friend texted me and I was like, okay, so now I'm never getting on a bike for a very, 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 a very long time. I'm not scared of bikes, but I'm not a huge fan of bikes. Like, I'm like, nope, nope, I'm just not going to go on bikes for a very long time because I didn't follow the rules. So please, so you don't look like someone beat you up. And look like you need to be literally sent home and stay inside and not be allowed out for days. Like, my dad didn't even seem to, like, it didn't face me, it didn't face him, but took me to a doctor after all because this start to hurt, like, right there. And turns out he 
didn't take me back because he didn't have time off of work to do so. Um, ooh, that was a bad thing because it still hurts to this day. To this day, this thumb still hurts. I have to like put it in wraps and splints and other things when it hurts. So, wear a helmet. We listen to this because this is actually very true. And don't end up like me where my thumb still hurts to this day and I like to draw and paint and write and it hurts to literally do those things. So, yeah, don't do that. Today was Blue Book Tuesday. I also did these. Remember how I have my hands wrapped up? These three hands? They still hurt. I still wrap them up every so often, but I was always thinking, wouldn't it be cool if they had the signs for like when someone got hurt? Because that way it could look super cool. Not just boring. So I kind of just doodled this. And I might do, show you a doodle. I made like a little A with this. So maybe I'll show you. I just thought it was kind of cool. Like, ooh, how cool would it be to like design your own like little tape for your fingers. And before I get my little sign. My clocky bubbles. I don't know if my big bubbles are working yet. But to be fair, my mouth hurts right now because I got two cavities still. Here's a tip. Brush your teeth three times a day. And try not to drink too much soda. Because that's what I did and I have 11 cavities. Don't be like me and have 11 cavities. Jade's lucky. She doesn't have any. We just got to work on getting dental floss or some type of like pick to space her teeth out more. And drink water. My dentist was telling me that the one tooth that's crooked, or is it that one? It was like, it might hurt more if you don't drink water or if your mouth is really dry. So, drink water. Actually, here, water can save you from a lot of health problems, believe it or not. Which is kind of interesting, because I never knew that. It could save you from even dentists, too. Like, not just doctors, but straight out dentist. We were on the air. We are off the air. Have a great book, have a great Blue Book Tuesday. Hope y'all enjoyed my books that I read to you this week. And sorry it was late. I'll probably get them uploaded by 12 a.m. So I'm sorry about that. But earlier I couldn't talk because my mouth was numb from getting, because they were the front teeth. So my top teeth were numb and my nose was numb. I'll be talking like this and worse and stuff be drilling. You wouldn't want to see it. So. That's how it's lit. So sorry about that, but I hope you have a great book, Blue Book Tuesday. Bye for now. I'll see you on Animation Wednesday. And sorry about the weekend. Techo technical difficulties from the weekend, so I'm very sorry about that. Oh, and this is my Buttercup from, believe it or not, Powerpuff Girls. I have Blossom and Buttercup. I don't have Bubbles one yet. 
I just use my favorite. I really want my bubbles. But they didn't have any when I went there last time. So I'll have to wait and see. Bye for now.